Rally and Eats is happening Thursday at Comstock Park. Yeah, and at this event, all ages and skill levels can partake in a free tennis lesson. Our Caroline Flynn is live at Comstock Park getting her own lesson in this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about it. We wanted to mention that everyone, by the way, you don't have to have your own racket. They've got them here, and Aaron so kindly will actually get you set up with the right racket because I didn't know there was a whole science to it all. Yeah, there's absolutely a science. <laughs> and so the racket that you love most might be too big for you. But this one's right for me, right? That's right for you. And how do we know? How do we know? What have you learned? Okay, Jerry, I want you to show this because this is a very important part of the lesson. you got to put it up next to your knee, and if your hands are just dangling slightly, that's a good fit. Right. And so how do we know that this is too small for you? Because my hand, when I'm standing up straight, cannot reach the racket. Right. And if the racket, <laughs> put your arm down. And if the racket was up here when you held it. Too big. Too big. No good. Maybe you love it, but it's too big and it may not. So then you don't like playing tennis because it's hard to hit it's the hard. ball. Because listen, your racket's too big, listen, not because you're not proficient. I need everything in my corner this morning because it's been a minute since I've had a tennis lesson. So first, we got Braden and Henry out here. They're doing a warm-up exercise. I'm going to join them. But first, I don't even remember how to stand properly when I'm holding the racket. with your racket is like you're shaking hands with your racket. Okay. So your hand is at the bottom of the handle. Okay. So you're not choking up there. like a baseball bat. You're holding it low where it's against the soft spot of your hand. So what you're going to do is you're going to have a ball. And do you know what the middle of your racket's called? No, I do not. It's Again, it's been <laughs> a little while. Brayden, do you remember what the middle of the racket's called? Henry, do you remember the middle? What's it called? Sweet that's spot. Right. Okay. That's right. The sweet spot of your racket. So you're going to hold, you're going to get in a surfer position. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and you're going to drop the ball and then hit it over. All right. I'm going to get a ball. First, I want to see Henry and Brayden do it. Okay. Oh, he got it over. Nice. By the way, the object is to hit over that little pyramid on the other side. Can we get Henry to try? Yeah. You want to try? Oh, okay, listen, nice. listen. Good contact. You guys step out of the way. I, I'm going to show you how it's done, okay? <laughs> All right? Hold up to the sweet Here, spot. Yeah. To the sweet spot. Oh. Nice. So close. And why was it? How did you get it so close? Do you know what part of your body helped you? I don't know. I'm an amazing tennis player. I mean, nat <laughs> your natural magic, yes. But also your shoulder. So okay. what you want to do is wherever your shoulder is pointed, that tells the ball where to go. Okay. Well, listen, <clears throat> I'm going to work on where I'm putting my shoulders. But you guys, you can have fun just like we are this morning at 6 o'clock on Thursday at the third annual Rally Needs from Comstock Park. We're going to get ready to play a game, you guys. And Caroline we have all the equipment. For News Now. <laughs> Looks like fun.